Yo, what's going on, guys? I am Pryoxys, and I am back with another video. And as you can see in the thumbnail and the title, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to use Sugar Shine O'Malley. So let's get started. Um, his perks are laser focus, taekwondo, to the feet, and uh, frontal assault. Now, with that being said, I know his straight strikes, he has good spinning kicks, able to jump back up to the feet when he gets taken down. And front and side kicks are faster and more accurate. Okay, so, you know, kickboxer type stuff. Again, his punch speed's fine. Everything is fine here. But big thing is the switch stance and the kick speed is good. His boxing is good as well. Now, let's go to his grappling. His grappling stats are t -t 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 terrible, okay? Stay away from the ground. Health stats are not bad, but they're not, nothing stands out. His cardio isn't that great. Leg health is fairly low, body health is fairly low, so he doesn't, he has good recovery, but other than that, uh, Sean O'Malley doesn't have great health stats. And his top moves is going to be the Celtic or the Celtic, whichever way you want to pronounce it, cross, traditional combinations, body cross, uh, lead spinning heel kick, and then a snap jab. Now, the big thing here is going to be his height. But he also has the most reach in this division. So you're going to want an outside fight with Sean O'Malley 100% of the time. Fighting in the pocket with him, yes you can. But you have such a great advantage with the height and the reach advantage. So I'm going to go into practice mode and I'm going to look at his actual moves. I'll be right back. All right, so he has a level three snap jab, a level five Celtic cross, level three lead hook, level three body jab, and then a body cross is level four. So his his cross up top and down low are both high level strikes. And then his kicks, mm, I know the spinning heel kick, it says something about that one. See, here it goes. So spinning heel kick is very good as well. The lead spinning heel kick. And again, all this doesn't matter. So, I'm going to go into the rank match, and I'll be right back. All right, so here we go, guys. We're going against a Cody Garbrandt. His reach is not that great. And I'm using Sean O'Malley. Again, he has the longest reach in the game, but he's also tall. So, in this fight, Cody Garbrandt is going to, will want to get on the inside. And uh, I want to keep on the outside. So, I'm going to try to use my front kicks. Because I don't want a pocket fight versus this guy. Is he going to touch my glove? He doesn't touch my glove, okay? So, again, I want to play from the outside. Use my front kicks. And, you know, just maybe the push and side kicks. I probably won't use them too much because they're, they're pretty bugged right now. Like, they don't land. I won't say they're bugged, but the tracking on them is pretty bad. So, I'm just going to try to play the outside game. Um, again, I can, I can box a little bit. But, again, I'm going against Cody Garbrandt. And inside, you know gonna be very hard beating him on the inside especially speed and power there and I just want to be a little patient I don't want to you know I have a level uh, four I'm sorry a level four yeah a level four body cross and I have a level five cross up top so I just want to play it slow throw some feints again throw some front kicks land that one throw one more back them up back up and that's something you guys need to utilize yourself is that uh is this right here right trigger and uh right bumper right trigger on playstation the r1 or r2 and just hold those together and back up and he goes trying to pressure me which is fine again front kick back him up and he's gonna start dropping his hands because he wants to uh nice no, have a nice combination drop cross lead hook Him up, sitting down again with the front kick. Well, not a knockdown, but again, this guy's gonna play aggressive, and we understand that. But he's also using Cody Garbrandt, and Cody Garbrandt doesn't have a great chin, so I could possibly get a finish. Throw the body cross landed there. Again, just want to play the outside game. Against Cody Garbrandt, it's going to be very tough to beat him in on inside because he's 
so clean inside. Yeah, I'm just gonna try to frustrate him with these. And uh maybe later on in a fight, I try to catch him. Try to catch him, go throw a head kick, yep. I try to catch him with the spinning heel. guy's gonna be very aggressive but it take it takes some patience man and front kick on there don't to the body he blocks both of them that's fine spin the hill kick boom knock him down that was clean probably gonna throw a kick at the end of the round no okay again got the knockdown in that round there again just trying to keep the fight far away as possible it's gonna take it's gonna be hard for him to get on the inside unless i allow him to get there or i actually go in the inside versus him which wouldn't be smart because he has a power advantage speed advantage and i have the reach and the height advantage so i'm just gonna try to front kick him back him up again and use my defensive tools that i do have like the push is one is a good one you know just push him backwards Ah, he got a body rock. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. So I just gotta be careful with uh Gotta be careful with my lunges because he's trying to catch my body. He's trying to catch me with some uh body kicks. He's probably gonna throw another one soon. Again, you guys may feel like, oh, you're just playing, you know, scary. You're playing scared, but I understand it. it it's, I'm fighting against Cody Garbrandt. You know, it, this guy wants to be on the inside. He wants to trade on the inside. Now, his chin isn't that great, but it's still Cody Garbrandt. Again, I throw a four piece there, catching there. And the reason why I threw the combination right afterwards, because I had the health stat advantage, because I landed like a two piece before that. Knock him down there. Go throw a body kick. Missed it. It's all good. Again, and he's still sitting here trading with me. Again, I would, don't get me wrong. I'm not scared to trade with this guy. But I'm going to trade when I know I have an advantage. That's like if I land a combination on him right here. Boom. Okay, he landed that. If I land a combination on him, and I know he is at a uh, health stat disadvantage, I'm going to push it. Again, I'm back to the outside. He's probably going to throw a head kick. In, back him up there. Oh, nice. Nope, that won't work. Ah, nice front kick. Again, man, fighting from the outside is, is not easy. It's pretty tough. Especially with the, the defensive tools that we have to use for defense. Not so, not so great, man. But I'm just gonna try to keep him at bay. Front kick, front kick, missed that one. It's all good. And he broke my block with like one jab. My block is pretty beat up though, so. Block is pretty beat up. I'll throw the front kick up top, man, as he tries to come in. Throw it now. Boom. Landed it clean. Throw the Sean O'Malley kick. Oh. Actually, that's not a Sean O'Malley kick. I'm not sure how. Actually, I think I know how to do it. I'll try it out. I'll try to finish him with it, but no promises. I'm not going to put myself at a big risk in order to finish him with the kick because this isn't really nothing flashy right now. But I am Sean O'Malley, so I actually might try to do it. the third round again my health stat <laughs> my health stats are not that great that was a nice nice lunge start feigning some stuff just to see what reactions I get out of him see how he isn't blocking low so that means I can probably throw a front kick moving forward Back 
Back him up, front kick. Back him up, front kick. And he's getting frustrated. See, he, he blocks his... He's probably getting frustrated right now. Because I'm just... Oh, nice. Over here. Land that. I'm going to throw a body kick. Again, man. You got to be careful with Cody Garbrandt, bro. He has power. So I just want to be careful, man. See right there? I'm, I'm entering the pocket and going into his world. So I got to fight from the outside. And right now, see how I have a... Okay. Throw a body kick. Throw another one. And back up. Front kick. Okay, he slipped there. Ah, nice. Again, man, I have to be careful. My head health is not looking good. So I probably won't throw any more like front kicks and stuff. Probably won't throw any more. Probably just try to box from the outside. I, I probably will throw a body kick, but I have to be careful. Oh, nice. He's gonna throw the head kick now. The head kick is coming. There it goes. Man, that. Boom. I tried to land it. Boom. Throw the body kick. He's probably gonna throw something else wild here. Probably land him. Hit a front kick. Okay. There goes that. Boom. Didn't work. <laughs> All right. Pretty sure I won this fight. Uh, again, I did not get the finish. I wasn't pushing for the finish. I wasn't looking for the finish. My opponent didn't give me too many opportunities to get the finish. I did get some knockdowns. Uh, very clean one in the first round. I went there. In round two, let's see. Oh, yeah. I cro uh, cross Lee Hook. Dropped him down there. I dropped him a couple times in the second round. Very clean fight for me, uh, if I could say. Landed some front kicks. I did good this fight. Uh, again, I could have mitigated the damage. I did take a lot of damage to my head because uh, unnecessary trading. But again, I'm pretty sure I got the win here. But if you guys did enjoy this, be sure to hit the like button and I shall return. Yeah, I got the win. Haha. <laughs> I'll be back, guys. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, fortunately, I'm going against another Cody Garbrandt because everybody loves to use Cody Garbrandt and Belter Yarn. So uh, I'm just going to have to deal with it again. This time, I'm going to fight from the outside and I'm going to try to fight where I take less damage. So uh, less trading, more kickboxing, a lot more feints. So here we go, get it started. Just going to see what he does. And I want to throw these feints to see what is, does he do with his block. Does he start playing aggressive when I throw these feints? Does he, uh, you know, drop his block low? You see there, he drops his block low. Keeping his block low for some odd reason. So that means, that tells me I could possibly land a head kick, but I don't want to throw it because I don't want it to whiff. And he's blocking low there, you see, so I can't. Jab cross. And I probably can land a clean head kick, but I want to set up some, uh, I just want to throw some leg feints, see there? He tried to check it. And he's blocking low, so it, it sets us an opportunity to uh, land a high kick, especially after he does a combination. Okay, so he's respecting. You see how he's respecting that low block a lot? That, that's literally a free head kick on a Cody Garbrandt that has bad health stats. And then I'm using Sean O'Malley. Again, I, I want to trade less. 
There goes a head kick. Landed that one. Oh, we go for a takedown. <laughs> Again, I want to trade less, but I want to, you know, since he's playing a bit defensive, I can play a little aggressive, but aggressive with distance versus aggressive with strikes. But make sure I keep enough distance where I can get out the pocket. And then do a leg kick in the pocket there. Do a body kick to another one. Then a jab body kick another one. Three body kicks I landed on him for free, essentially, because I got the rock on him. So I'll take those. Again, he's been respecting the low block. So um, because I rocked him there, he actually stopped respecting the low block or worrying about his head. And now I set up because I threw all those body kicks. And I landed another one there. I'm landing these body kicks on him. So next time I rock him, I could possibly try to get a flashy finish because he's going to expect the, uh, the low kick. But again, I'm not going to chase that. You know what I'm saying? I can play aggressive, but again, I'm playing right into his game. He's Cody Garban. I don't want to be in the pocket with this guy. Yep, that was nice again. He's blocking low, but I do that just because. Again, back up. I don't want to trade with him. He won that trade, so I'll back up, and I'll let my head off recover before I even think about trading again. Okay, uh, that round, uh, I believe I won. I'm not 100% sure. I did get a rock there. But again, just clean kickboxing, man. Just very clean kickboxing. Trying to work with what I got with the defensive tools. Again, it's very hard to fight defensive in this game, guys. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that it's easy. Again, because some guys play very aggressive. And now this guy's trying to clinch me. Go front kick. Jab cross. Again, I have to reach advantage. I don't want to trade. I know he wants to play aggressive. But I'm not going to uh, fall into the, the trick of playing aggressive versus this guy. Keep kickboxing. There goes a clinch. Okay, now he tries to get down and pound. Get back up to the feet. Didn't do too much damage. Took a little bit of damage, which is fine. So we know what exactly what he wants to do here. He wants he's getting frustrated. That when a Cody Garbrandt is taking you to the ground, that, that just says he's getting frustrated. Oh nice body kick. He timed it well too. Nice front kick. Again, I don't want to trade with this man. I don't want to trade with him. Just want to play from the outside. Take what he gives me. Nope. Again, man, Cody Garbrandt is trying to wrestle. <laughs> Again, I have to have uh, advantage here in the wrong stance. Nope, have a reach advantage. Go some knees. Cool. Try to bait out him and throw something. There we go. Boom. Jab across the lead hook. Again, he's getting frustrated, man. He's getting frustrated. I promise he is. Because I'm not fighting his fight. I'm fighting my fight. I'm fighting my fight. I'm not fighting yours. Tried to sneak that one in. Tried to sneak that one in for y'all, man. Didn't get it. And can't, can't. Did he wants a brawl. I can't give him the fight that he wants. Otherwise, he's going to be able to, uh, <laughs> they just do three lead overhands in a row. And I could say I won this second round as well. I'm not 100% sure, but 
Um, who knows, man? With these judges in this game, I kind of get <laughs> I get cucked on these judges' uh, scorecards. We get look at my health stats, look at my stamina. And again, I'm not chasing. I'm not chasing the finish. I'm not chasing anything. I threw it as he was going back up. He's gonna stay down. I'll just back up. Stand us up, ref. Again, now I have this fight decision in the bag, essentially, from my understanding. So I'm going to make this guy try to chase the finish. And I'm not going to uh again. If he wants to sit here and trade, I'm fine with that. It goes for uh oh, what was that? So I don't have to chase the finish. He's trying to go for a takedown. I don't know why. I knew that was going to land. Get that clean. the body kick. Oh, I just whiffed that for some reason. So another body kick. And at this point, this guy knows it's essentially over. Oh! Clean that was clean. If you ain't hit the like button yet for that knockout right there, you gotta hit it. You gotta hit the like button, man. That was clean with the backflip. Front kick landed clean as he threw the overhand. Boom! Knocked him out. Flash KO. Boom! I just have to show this replay, guys. That was very clean. So I'll be back. I'm going to give you guys one more fight. Unfortunately, it was two Cody Garbrands. Hopefully, we don't have to fight a third one. I hope we don't have to. I'll be right back, guys. All right, guys. Here we go. This guy is using a um, kickboxer acrobat. So I'm going to assume, obviously, he's a kickboxer and he's acrobat. So it's like a flashy type of kickboxer. But I'm going to give him my respect. He does have a snake head on whatever. Touch him up again. Okay, see, see that? He already threw a jumping back, spinning back kick. So we're gonna assume, you know, he's that flashy guy. He throws a knee. I'm gonna break the clinch now. Get off here. This guy, people like this are gonna get finished fast. Now, he may land on me. Okay, okay, okay. 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 Kick the body. Who wants to clinch, fam, eh? Oh, it kill, kill. Okay. Well. Can kick his body. Just use my front kicks on him. He's probably gonna throw something wild because he's getting frustrated because he's getting hit with these front kicks. The, the switch kick, man, it's so fast. And there, boom, throw a body kick. Body kick again. Throw a front kick, back him up. Throw a front kick, back him up. Throw a combo in the pocket. <laughs> God, man. type of players. Come on, man. Nope. Want our front kick? Kicked him. There he goes with the clinch again. 
Again, if I wanted to, I we could take this guy down. But for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna show you guys uh, me trying to kickbox him. He trying to clinch. There he goes to clinch again. Going to the front. So, yep. 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 That sounds about right, man. These type of players, bro. Now, again, I'm 100% better than this guy. But there's certain parts of the game that allow him to do... God, man. Try kick him there. Kick, body kick. Front kick. What? <laughs> See what I'm saying? If I wanted to, I could easily beat this guy. Like, I would just take him down. I promise he has, like, grade A. I mean, grade B level ground game. Again, the game allows him to spam stupid stuff, man. He's going to throw a switch kick. If this is very annoying for me, picture how it is for, you know, other players in the game. God, man, it's annoying. Again, I'm trying to play the outside game, but it's kind of hard. Switch kick. Get up, bro. Get up, bro. Go to sleep. Killer 7188, bro. You have been exposed, bro. Clint spamming switch kicking bum. I hope you guys enjoyed the showcase, man. Hit that like button for, for him. For the sake of that guy that just got knocked out, hit it for him. I appreciate y'all, man. If you guys uh, have not yet begun, be sure to like the uh, video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Turn on post notifications, man. All right? Appreciate y'all. I'm out, man. Peace.